Hey guys, I'm Canberra Potter for That's My Entertainment, and we are here at the 2023 Comic Con in beautiful San Diego, California. We're just moments away from meeting the directors, producers, and writers of DC's new animated series, Justice League War World. Stay tuned. So what are you most excited for fans to, is there a certain scene or certain one of the multiverses that you're most excited for the reactions of fans? Well, I, me personally, I like the war, um, the Skataris area where, you know, the barbarian stuff and Batman is involved in that area. So that's my personal favorite as far as the fans. They might like the Clark Kent in the 50s uh, black and white universe you know ufo hunting or you know again I, some people might love the wonder woman cowgirl sequence so we'll see it's exciting there's a lot of variety i'm curious what the challenges were and then also what was the most rewarding part of being able to meld these different genres together in one feature can you say that again? Yeah, sorry, it was a mouthful. Yeah. So, I, essentially, what was the m most challenging aspect of creating three worlds into one film? Well, again, it's design all the way because, uh, you know, per film, usually we have one central design that goes throughout the whole film. This, we had to create four different worlds, which, uh, you know, and it's a lot of design that ha goes along with that and a lot of work and a lot of time. But we're very limited as far as the time we're allowed to do it. We're not like a feature film, so we have to like hit it, hit it, hit it quick, you know. So, it, you know, sometimes it was a struggle, but I have a great crew and they got it done. Oh, well, I can't wait to see it. I know it's going to be a big hit. So congratulations and have a great Comic-Con. Nice to meet you. Um, so congrats on, on the film. I'm sure you're excited for the premiere tonight. I am. I am. I mean, this is one of the times that I haven't seen it. So I haven't seen the final. I mean, usually the great thing is to see it in the big screen. Yeah. But this time, I haven't seen anything except an animatic like a year and a half ago. And I frankly, I've forgotten <laughs> the other people's sections sure. of it, you know? So it's going to be fun to see. So does that mean, because that was going to be my other question actually, was did you each, all three of you, write your own met, uh, part of the metaverse? Or did you collaborate to come up? How did you come up with this concept of, of these three very distinct worlds and genres? Well, so Jim Creek wanted to do a, a war world story, but usually they center around gladiatorial combat. And he's like, I want to do something different where they're stuck and they don't know who they are, but it's in this kind of hologram simulation with amnesia. And through their efforts in fighting, them and thousands of other heroes are what's powering War World. So then we kind of pitched of, all right, since they don't remember who they are, where are we going to put them that they won't remember who they are, right? So it's like someplace far away. That's why Batman is like kind of a Conan-esque character and Superman is, is, is a lawman in the 50s and Wonder Woman, she's in the Old West. So they, it, it's meant to keep them from remembering because it's so far from their experience. You know? cool. It's such a unique concept. I'm, I'm excited to see it. I'm curious, this is kind of a fun question. If you could wake up tomorrow and just magically inhabit one of, their, one of those three characters, who would you be, Batman, Superman, or Wonder Woman? Hmm. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm a big Batman fan. I'd like who wouldn't want to be Batman? You, I think the saying goes, "Always be yourself," unless you could be Batman. <laughs> That's a good saying. Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. congratulations again. Enjoy the premiere tonight. All your hard work coming coming together. So, congrats. You like it? Yes. Thank you so All much. Right. Nice to meet you, Ernie. All right. All right. Well, congratulations first of all on the premiere tonight. I'm so excited. <laughs> I bet you are. Are you going to watch it? Well, yeah, okay. obviously. Right. I, uh, I'm curious because it's such a unique concept with these three different worlds or universes coming together. What were the challenges of producing that? And then on the flip side, what was the reward of bringing these three completely distinct genres and worlds together? You know, I, I, it's really unfair because for, for the writers, the, the, it's, the work is exactly the same. It's, it's still a script. There, each little section is just, you know, is they each have a, a little story with the beginning, middle, and end. But for the poor animation team, that's a hundred different backgrounds, you know, a, all these different background characters, a different tone, a different palette each time. And so I'm sure they were cursing the writers. What would they do anyway? They, there's always a lot of cursing toward the writers. But uh, 
and the reward is we get to see it and it's I I think it's not that any of them are boring but that it changes up so quickly that it will keep your interest. Cool. I, it sounds extremely exciting, just the, the contrast of those three worlds. Yeah. So, okay, fun question for you. If you could wake up tomorrow and just be magically transported into one of those three characters, if you could be Batman, Superman, or Wonder Woman, who would you like to inhabit? Wow. Uh, um, that's a tough call. Uh, I, I, I don't even know if I would pick Superman as much as I would pick Clark Kent, because I think he's done so well at the Daily Planet that he is... His, he's locked in. He's got job security. Uh, that is important nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I know you got other people to meet. Congratulations you. again. You have a great... First of all, congratulations. I, I was kind of eavesdropping, and it sounds like you're really excited for tonight, oh, as yeah, you right. should be. Yes. I, I'm curious, out of these three worlds or universes, which one of the three was the most exciting or fun for you? And then conversely, which was like the most difficult to, to kind of direct and create? Uh, I think... I was most excited about, on the surface level at least, was um, the the Wonder Woman as a cowboy through it, because uh, I grew up around watching a ton of like Bonanza and the Good and the Bad and the Ugly and all those movies, and and I really loved uh, Sergio's kind of work since I was really little, and to have the opportunity to bring that across the screen myself, um, which you on these kind of stuff, working for DC or Marvel, any of those kind of stuff, to have the opportunity to do that with superheroes extremely rare if ever and I reveled in being able to have that opportunity so I, I grabbed it a lot of sleepless nights the other one that was difficult but I also really loved was the film noir one um, or kind of a twilight zone so making the character seem nervous and cutting around and playing with the cutting and stuff me and the borders had such a blast making the audience feel that way and playing with the angles of the camera until we're like everyone's in a frenzy that was really fun to build that as a storyteller in general that's really fun to build so yeah it's three very distinct and unique concepts I, I think it's great I can't wait to see it um, this is a fun question for you I'm curious if you could wake up tomorrow and just have a magic wand waved and you inhabit one of these three characters would you be Wonder Woman Batman or Superman oh my god <laughs> um, probably not Batman that's a pretty brutal world <laughs> Uh, it'd probably be between Wonder Woman and 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 Superman in the in the the third story. I, I wouldn't want to live in the Conan. It's fun to watch, but not not fun to live there. Understand yeah. For sure. <laughs> well, I, I just I think that's such a fun question. So yeah. Well, have a great con. Congratulations on the premiere tonight. Thanks. So uh, I know we don't have a lot of time here. I'm, I'm being told that I only get one question, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, first of all, congratulations on the premiere tonight. I'm sure you're excited. Always. I am curious about your writing process. Like with the three of you, did you all kind to collaborate on the concept together did yeah. each of you pr pitch a different story uh, you know a world how did that work yeah so what had happened was jim creek who's uh you know the producer on the project uh he wanted to do something with all of us i mean because we worked for him for different variations all over the years and and he got us together and he was just kind of like uh all right what's this about you know and we kind of had a structure kind of an idea okay. you know general direction what we're we doing and we just started like thinking about what each section could be and then we all took to it you know, and so it, conceptually, we all kind of came up with it together, and then, and then broke it out. It was no question in mind what section I was going to get, um, as I am, like I said, a fantasy nut, and uh, and having Batman uh, wielding swords is uh, everything I could want in life. <laughs> you know. Well, I know I'm not supposed to ask another yeah, question, but it was going to be, uh, if you could be one of the three, who would you be? Oh, I would totally be Batman. <laughs> Mainly just to get the sword, like, you know? But I mean, Batman in general. That's the answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always answer Batman. Always. Cool, cool. Well, I won't take any more of your time. Thank you so much. Congrats again. Nice to meet you. All right, guys. There you have it. I'm Camper Potter for That's My Entertainment. And that is my entertainment. What's yours?